Hello, my name is Richard Holdman from HoldmanLighting.com and this is a quick tutorial on how to open up a Lightorama sequence and how to do basic cut and paste into a new sequence. So when, once you download your file from HoldmanLighting.com, I have a test file and it will be called Jingle Bells and when you open it there are three files. The extension with LMS, that is actually the Lightorama sequence and then I have a picture of a background of a house and then we actually have the audio file it's an mp3 the jingle bells techno so first thing we'll want to do is to run the lightorama sequencer I just have a shortcut on my desktop and once we open this we need to open up our first sequence so we'll just go to file open Go to the place where you saved it. In my case, it's on the desktop. Click in the folder, and this is the Laterama sequence file. So I'm going to open it. And if I try to hit play right away, I'll get an error that it cannot find the file. So we have to link the audio file to the sequence. We do that by going up to Edit, down to Media File, and then we go back to the desktop to the folder and here we have our Jingle Bells Techno Edit MP3 and now we open it. And now if we play it, we should be able to start hearing the audio file. So the basic thing that I like to do when work when opening a file is to, you'll see that these are actually fades up and down. I like to change this so it, it's called ramping. It makes it easier so you can see the fades. Then I like to tighten down the channels so I can view more. And then you can pull this out. And if you look over here, you can actually see all the channels. And you can scroll down. And you can see that I group all my channels in colors. So we have white, green, and then red. And then I have other channels that are specifically just single colors or things that I don't want in these groups. So we have the snowflakes and arches. And so what you can do now is you can pull up an animation, the animation window, so you can see how it looks. If you go up to View, Animation, and let's go ahead and you can shrink this down. Click on this, make it a little bit smaller. And you can see here is the, sequ the picture of my house with the lights drawn on and now if you hit play you'll see that you can see an animation and this is taken from the exact same angle I did all my videos and so it looks really close to the videos that I have created so let's go ahead and stop that I'm just going ahead and move this off the screen so we have more room to work with and so now that we have um, all our channels, our audio is linked up, we're gonna go ahead and create a new sequence. So we're gonna go File, New. We're gonna create a new musical sequence. And now it wants you to select your audio file. I'm going to select the same Jingle Bells. And you can change some of this information later, but the the important thing is start with your basic number of channels. Um, this sequence has around 180 channels. Some people may only have, they'll start with 32 or 64. So we'll say we have 32 channels, maybe two controllers. And what's very important is to use the same timing in your new sequence. And so you'll hit some other value. And the ones when I created this file, I use 0.05 space a timing so that's 10 cells 20 no it's 20 cells per second so we're gonna hit OK and this is our new sequence and here is the one that we're gonna be cut and pasting from so we're gonna go new sequence and I like to shrink these down again so I can view as much as I can on the screen and to configure these, you'll want to name these. 
the same as the objects in your yard or what you're doing. If you look online, I have garage trees, tree. So you'll want to do that. But for sake of time, I'm just going to leave them there. And you configure it in actually tools. Then channel configuration. You can do it in here by assigning the laterama control at the unit and circuit. I'm not going to get into the details of all of that. Or you can just click on a channel and it will bring that up. I'm just going to show you a basic cut and paste. So let's say I want to these trees. I have these trees in the front. Let's say I want to cut and paste those channels into my new sequence. And those ones happen to be the tree. I have nine of them, one through nine. And if I come over here, you can see, bring this back over. And if I play, you can see how it's lighting up those on the beats. Everything is timed up. So let's stop that. And we want to cut and paste this entire, all these trees. So what we do is we go to the very beginning of the file. And what I like to do is to, when I work on a file and then I clean this up when I'm done, is I like to turn on the first cell at the very beginning of the entire song on. And so I'm actually highlighting all these cells. I'm going to go all the way down and then I'm going to fill it. I'm going to hit the end button on my keyboard. I use my keyboard most of the time. I have one hand on the keyboard and one hand on the mouse. And this is the fill. And you'll want to, all these different selections, I never use them. I have everything on the selection, the, this tool option right here. This allows you to select your cells. If you have it on something else and you draw, it will fill that. I'm going to undo. So once you learn the keyboard shortcuts, so I'm, I have the selection here. I'm going to delete those cells. And the reason why you want to turn the first cell on is when you cut and paste into your new sequence to make sure that you have the very beginning. So I'm going to cut and paste these first trees, these nine trees. I'm going to highlight one through nine. And you can drag this all the way to the end of the sequence, or the fastest way is to select how many you want. Click with your right mouse button, and you're going to go to Select Rows. And it's going to select all the way to the end of the sequence. And now I can click on this area again, or hit Control c for Copy. Then we're going to go to the new sequence. And let's say I'm going to start it right here, go down nine. These are my trees. I'm going to click in the area. Make sure you're at the very beginning. Click on it with the right mouse button and hit paste. And now, just scroll, you can see that my channels are there. And I can play this to make sure it's in sync. And one thing you may want to do is turn on the, the waveform. We're going to go full height, and this will kind of show you the music. You can see if things are happening right on the beat. And so you'll have to figure which channels you want to cut and paste. So those ones would be good. Another one might be the um, star. So we can highlight the first three of the star, right click. We're going to, actually we need to select all the rows. Right click again, hit copy. Go back to our new sequence. Make sure we're at the very beginning. That's why you want to turn on your first cell. You always know when you've scrolled over all the way. You may want them here. We're going to control V or right click paste. And you look up. And you can see that the star is now here. So that is a very basic tutorial on how to open up a sequence and start to cut and paste into your new sequence. You'll also want to, of course, create a new animation window. And this will be blank when you start. This tutorial is not going to get into how to do this, but you will want to 
before you start working on your display, you need to figure out exactly how your display is going to look. You need to get all your channels into Laterama and start drawing out your animation window. So that is a basic tutorial on how to cut and paste from one sequence into another. So good luck with your display this year.